Hello my crafty friends, it's Nancy and today I am bringing you a brand new stamp released by Kitchen Sink Stamps and we're going to make a card and the new stamp is this beautiful bass and this is one that is very close to my heart because I learned to fish at around five years old and um it's a way to connect with my dad who passed several years back and I have been teaching Miss Leah how to fish now. And you see a little sparkle on his belly there and his fins. So let's get into making this beautiful card so you can get it to your dad or your fishing partner in time for Father's Day. All right. So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock. This is Nina Solar White Classic Crest cut down to five by three and three quarters. I am using three different stamp sets here. They are all from Kitchen Sink Stamps, but I will show them along the way to you. So I'm trying this new sticky grid idea. Um, I laminated one of the papers from the background here. So you can see it's, it is laminated. And I have one of these Sizzix sticky grids on here, which is removable. Um, here's what the packaging looks like. It is called Sticky Grid. You do not want to confuse it with the permanent adhesive sheets. Again, permanent adhesive sheets, Sticky Grid. Sticky Grid is removable. So it's like, think of it as like washi tape pretty much, okay? But it's double-sided. So um, Sizzix Sticky Grid Sheets. So I just have that stuck on there. I'm going to put my piece of paper down in the corner. So this basically eliminates the need for magnets. If you want to use magnets, you can, but you don't need magnets. And I like that because then I don't have to move them out of the way. And oftentimes I have ink on my fingers. And when I go to move the magnets, guess what? I get ink on my, my project. So we're going to try, try to do this without any inky boo-boos and using the sticky grid. Um, the stamp set is a smaller stamp set. It is called Multi-Step Fishing for Bass. Never mind my masking paper got stuck on there. Um, but it is a large bass. And then there's a tiny hook here. There's a smaller bass here. And then there's a small fisherman here and a medium-sized fisherman here. So we are going to be using the main image, which is the bass today. And again, this is a brand new release from Kitchen Sink Stamps. All right, so the first image we are going to start off with is our uh, bass. And they are numbered one, two, three, four, so you know what order they go in. And I will try to um, zoom this in for you guys so you can hopefully see how I am layering them up. I don't know how well that's going to come out. Put some light on here. All right. So layer one is the most solid layer. And we want to put that right down on our card so it looks like he is jumping out of the water. Okay. And clearly I did not clean my stamp well. Um... I'm going to use a magnet just to hold this background sheet down. We don't want the magnet in the way, so we'll just do this. Okay, so now I shouldn't have to move the magnets again. All right, so the first color I'm going to use is a light, light taupe color. This is called Sahara Sand. This is from Stampin' Up. And I do want to show you guys that um, I did practice with this before I got into the card. Oh, here it is. So here are some of my practices, colors, stamping off, and things like that. So you want to do that anytime you have new stamps. It also helps to condition your stamps when they're new. But it gave me the color combinations I want to use. And I know that looks pretty dark, but believe me, it does lighten up to a nice taupe color. Okay, so once the first one is down, the second layer is pretty easy to line up. What you're going to do is pretty much line up the top of the fish. So as long as you look at the top, which would be the top of his mouth, the whole upper part of his back, the top of his fins, Thank you. 
And that's where our stamp positioning tool comes into place because that's kind of hard to do when you have a detailed stamp with a stamping block. You can do it, but it's just easier to do with a um, stamp positioner. Okay, now for this second one, I used old olive, but I felt like the color was too dark. So we're going to stamp it off. So the way you do that is you're going to ink up your stamp. It's a very dark green. Clean up my excess ink here. And we're going to stamp that off onto a piece of scratch paper. Just real lightly. I'm not really pressing, just trying to take off a top layer of ink. Okay, now we're going to move that scratch paper out of the way. And now we are going to stamp that down. Okay. Now, I didn't get a good enough image at the top, so no problem. I'm going to do it again. So once again, inking it up with the old olive. I'm going to put my scratch paper down again. Stamp it off. Okay, that's much better. And I wanna make sure I wipe off all this extra ink I had on the side. Okay, so that's layer number two, pretty easy. Okay, same thing with the third layer. The third layer, you want to line up the front of his mouth and then along his spine again because the tail goes back a little further so if you line up the front where the mouth is and you can see in the fins where each curve is detailed I'm actually on the side of the stamp looking down at it to make sure that I have a good impression. I think that's pretty good. Oops. It does take a little bit of patience. But believe me, it is worth it when this guy stamps out. Okay, so realistic looking. Okay. Now, you can go in and do full strength of the um, old olive on this layer. It's a very, very dark green. And now we're going to start to get more detail in our little bass. Okay, coming together, looking pretty good here. Okay, now for the most detailed final area. This one was the hardest one for me to line up. Um, and what you wanna do here again is line up his, the front, there's a little, uh, two little gaps that go on his mouth, and then you want to line up his spine from the front to back. So you want to line up the fins, and you want to line up the tail. But you really want to make sure that you have that front area, because that is his mouth and his um, eyes. And sometimes you can't just be over the stamp. You really need to look on the sides and see where that is stamping. It takes a little wiggling sometimes. I think that's pretty good. I'm 
I'm doubting myself. I should just leave it alone. Okay, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, and then for this one, I'm using a dark brown. This is early espresso. Dark, dark, deep brown. Almost a black. You could use black. Oh, came out great. All right, let me show you guys our little bass here. You can see all the detail and the layers of color, hopefully. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with him. He's the hardest part of the whole stamp, the rest, or the whole card. The rest of it is very easy to do. Okay, so now what you would do is you would mask this off. So I have a mask here. Um, you would cut that and you would mask it off. However, I'm gonna make this card a little different. I'm gonna do the same thing, but we're not gonna mask it off. I have something else in line. And if you've watched my videos, you probably have an idea of what I'm gonna do here. God, he's so perfect though. I really don't wanna mess him up. You know what? He looks so much better than the other one. I think I will mask him and do the trick on the other one. I can get my masking paper to release. Come on. Oh, almost had it. You almost had it. All right, here we go. Okay. So the next stamp I'm going to stamp set I'm going to bring bring in is one that you guys know that I love deeply. And who doesn't say fishing like a cabin set, right? So this is cabin by the lake, and we're really just going to use the water and the cloud. So we are going to use layer one of the water. And all I did here was move my paper over a tiny bit. Oops, sticky grid came up with it. That's okay, it's fully removable. We're just gonna put it in the middle of our misty here. And what I wanna do here is use layer one. Now I did two layers for my previous card so that it really looks like, you know, like that lake is pretty big. For this one, I'm, I think I'm just gonna do one. Just for time's sake, but you do what works for you. Okay, and then the inks that I used were the Altenu inks. This is Caribbean Sky for the first layer. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out here in a second so you can see everything I'm doing. Did not ink it up enough. Let's do that again. All right. going to add our second layer and again we want to put the flat layer down the flat line down on the bottom of our card and then for the second layer I'm going to use Persian blue So that is enough for our water. And then the rest of it is coloring in a sky and putting some clouds in. I'll show you the clouds real quick. Um, these are also 
kitchen sink stamps clouds and stay tuned we have the mod squad challenge i am hosting this week um so you guys will be able to see another kitchen sink stamp set that i'm using to display a card Okay, so the cloud set, there's two clouds. There's a larger cloud and a smaller cloud. They are also three layers. So again, I want to start off with the lightest color blue. I'm going to be using Arctic from Altenew. So here it is, Arctic. This is the very first layer. Very, very light. Okay, and now the second layer. Did not clean that stamp off very well, so I cannot see very well through it. Okay, I'm just winging it on the second layer because I did not clean these well. Um, we're going to go back in with that Caribbean sky for the second layer. Final third layer is the most detailed layer. And I am going to do the um, Persian blue again. But before I stamp this down, I'm going to stamp it off so that it's not as dark. Where did I throw my scratch paper? Right in front of me. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one more time. Persian blue, stamp it off less aggressively this time, Nance, there we go. Now we have more transfer of ink. Okay, so now it looks like we have these layered clouds. Okay, then the other thing I did was I wanted it to look like I had this sunset background, so I ended up putting a piece of post-it note in the background here. This is where the second stamping of the lake um, came in as well. If you wanted to do that, you know what, we're already here, let's do it. And think this time I'm going to do flat edge. What I did before, let me show you guys, was I did the stamp flat edge and then flipped it over and did flat edge here. So I think this time we're going to do flat edge at the bottom and then flip it over and do flat edge at the top. This way we have more of a horizon. Don't worry about these areas here. We'll fill those in. Because it'll be flat. So again, we're going to go in with the Caribbean sky. And you really want to stamp down around that mask because that raises the area there and you want to get in there as close as you can to that stamped image. Okay, 
looking pretty good. Okay, and back in with layer number two. And again, going in with the Persian blue. looks really good. Okay, now we can do our little sunset or sunrise. It will be sunrise if you're catching fish, right? Okay, so we're going to put a little mask there. We can actually take this out of here and leave the sticky tape in there. And we're going to get our little Five dollar blender, but blah, 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 I can't speak blender brushes, and I have one that's kind of yellowy and one that's kind of blue. So we're gonna use the one that's kind of yellowy. Actually, we're gonna use the blue one first. So all I'm gonna do with the blue is go in and get some of that ink, tap it off, and then fill in our lake, all around our fish, in the water. Just tap it off and fill all that in. So our blue is done. If you wanted to add more in the sky, same thing. You could just go in and do the top part there to give it a little more color. All right, so now the blue is done. So we're going to grab some yellow inks. Make sure we grab our other brush here. the yellow one I can't remember I got it should really label these okay that's the blue one this is the yellow one and with the yellow I'm gonna start off actually removing our Sun quick grabbing a really light yellow and this is the negative that I used to cut out post-it note so we're gonna put that down first Pass that off, go in with our ink. This one's called Citrus Burst. Ink that up, tap a little bit of it off. Okay. All right, now we're going to mass our little sun off. We're going to go in with Fresh Lemon, which is the next color up. Hold our mask down and just lightly go around the mask. Because you're using um, these brushes, they're very delicate. You really don't have to worry about putting too much ink down. It really does look good. And then if you wanted to, you could go in with the next darkest color. It's called Maple Yellow. I'm just focusing around the sun here. If you wanted to, you could go over here a little bit. Okay. My sun is not prominent enough. We are going to fix it. We want that sun to be bright. I'm going to go in with a little bit of orange here. Just the tiniest bit. Okay. 
And the reason you tap off is because if you go straight on, it will leave a blob on your image, and we don't want that. Okay, there we go. That looks much better. Okay, and then for the sentiment, I'm using this multi-step lighthouse stamp set. I will tell you this is the stamp set that I used for the Mod Squad Challenge, so that video will be posting for you guys on Wednesday morning. But what I wanted out of this stamp set is the um, Happy Father's Day. So this one, we're just gonna use the block, stamping block. And then for this, I just use the Early Espresso again. Stamp that down in the bottom corner. And then got the word happy. Put that right over it. Happy Father's Day. Great for any fisherman. But wait, we're not done. Remember I said there was going to be a trick. So then at that point, if you wanted to stop, you could. And we just lift our mask off. Looks great. And... I then mounted this one on black cardstock, and I know you can't see it, but in the background is some wood grain pattern cardstock, and then put it on a card, right? So very masculine, very cool looking. Um, I'm going to leave this one because I do like the way this one looks. This one we're going to adjust a little bit. So I did have a fish that I stamped out earlier, and I really like the way this one looks. Um... You can use the SVG file to cut it out. They're very easy to cut out. So I did just uh, hand cut this one out, fussy cut it. It's going to take a black marker and go around all my edges so that there's a nice dark shadow for this image. Just really finishes that off. And if you don't know how to use the Kitchen Sink Stamps SVG files, I do have a video coming out for the silhouette. Um, I did film it. I just need to get it posted for you guys. All right, so he looks great. Um, for fun, I took some Winkastella, or sorry, not Winkastella. This is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And I just put it all along the bottom of his belly. And then also a little bit in his fins here. So he has a little bit of sparkle to him. We don't want it too sparkly because, again, it's a masculine card. But on this guy, we're going to step it up a notch. And we are going to use this. So this is a mini action wobbler. And when you use this, you want the clear side first which is the thinner side so there's two sides there's the heavier plastic part which is the spring and then the top part which is um, completely clear when you remove the backing if I could get it off okay here we go so once you remove this backing okay that's clear you want to put that on your image and this just fits him. It's the perfect size. And I press that down. And now we're going to take the spring side and remove the adhesive or the backing. And we want to put him right over where the stamped image is for placement. And I should have put a little wink of Stella on there. Or sorry. Spectrum Noir. So now when he wobbles,
you actually have a fish jumping out of the water. All right, so there we go, guys. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. Head on over to Kitchen Stinks, Sink Stamps. I will link the link down below for you guys. Again, the three stamps that I used were the um, Cabin by the Lake set, which gives us the water and the clouds. I used the uh, Multi-Step Lighthouse, which gave us the sentiment. Very masculine set for sentiments. Um, happy birthday. Happy Father's Day. Um, you light up my life. Bright birthday sympathy with deepest sun dad of you. So thinking of you, things like that. And you have a small and a large lighthouse. Again, there's a video coming up on this on Wednesday for the Mod Squad Challenge. And then, of course, our brand new release stamp set from Kitchen Sink Stamps is called the um, fishing for bass mini set, which comes with not only the bass, but again, it comes with two little fishermen and a hook. You could even put this hook on there to make it look like you, you know, you snagged a good one. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. I do read all of the comments. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the little bubble that's going to come up in the corner. Click the bell and it will let you know when I have posted new videos. We are almost to 9,000 subscribers, so very, very exciting. And I am trying to build up our Facebook and our Instagram page, and that is Nancy Stamps and the number 15. So if you can head on over there, please. I think once I get to 300 subscribers on Facebook and on Instagram, I will give one of these away. So we don't have much time. I think we have next weekend is Father's Day, but I'll be happy to mail this to someone. Again, Nancy Stamps 15 on Instagram and Facebook. I'll post the picture up. Just comment on the picture. And once we get to 300, I will give the card away. We'll do one for Instagram and one for Facebook. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.